Hello everybody, this is Michael Mazzotta, and welcome to my final on Heroes of the Storm. To all who don't know what Heroes of the Storm is, it's a game on the PC, which is a MOBA. That is to say, a multiplayer online battle arena, which is a subgenre of real-time strategy, strategy genre. The original release date is June 2nd, 2015, and is made by the most successful PC gaming company in the world of all time, Blizzard Entertainment the makers of World of Warcraft. Heroes of the Storm is available on Windows and Mac OS. This game features characters from Blizzard's other games, such as Diablo, Hearthstone, and World of Warcraft. Players can choose from three game modes, which include playing with or against computer-controlled heroes or other players. When the players first start the game, they may play five heroes provided by the free rotation of heroes, a randomly selected list that changes weekly. But by using gold coins, the in-game currency of wealth, or through microtransactions, they can gain permanent access to a hero. Two additional heroes are available to players that reach level 15. As November 15th, there are currently 39 heroes in the game, divided into four separate roles. Of the six maps, uh, of the eight maps, six of them are standard, where three lanes where players can fight and the other two are more objective-based maps. Heroes uh, are granted experience points for defeating other heroes or minions or structures, which allow their team level to go up to 1, 4, 7, 10, 13, and 16, and 20 are the levels that they receive additional bonuses up where they can have extra powers and use their talents to customize their hero's abilities and allow them to um, have more power, which is important for teamwork. Typically, whenever the game starts, people pick different skins to wear, to put in their player, and different colors to customize them to their liking. Um, I typically just use the stock or maybe I'll find it an alternative mount as a way of cost customizing my character. Um, with that being said, lots of cross promotion has been done to get Here's a Storm kind of off the floor. Um, they have offered free heroes of pre-orders of other games, such as Diablo 3. When the game was still in alpha, a promotion was ran where players received Vala as a free heroes and uh, StarCraft II Legacy of the Void Deluxe or Collector's Edition received a free Void Seeker mount and if you purchased any edition of the uh, StarCraft II you received the hero Artanis. So that's kind of nice that they provide these little bonuses. Um, Upon reaching level 12, Heroes and Heroes of the Storm, uh, alternative card backs for the digital card game Hearthstone that they produce um, were awarded to players as well. And to bring it full circle, whenever you won 100 games in Hearthstone, you would receive a free mount in Heroes of the Storm. All uh, Heroes of the Storm, um, Diablo, um, StarCraft 2 are all accessible through Blizzard's Hub. Now, with the different game modes, there's a non-draft where players choose their heroes in a party before entering the game, knowing what map they are playing. And in a draft, teams cannot play the same hero as the opposing team. However, they can base their decisions around the map that is announced during the draft period. So the different play modes are tutorials, which teaches players how to use their character, movement, abilities, and um, kind of gets them comfortable with the game. Training is a reduced XP mode of the game that players can play five AI opponents at an easy level. Quick match is um, a mode set for two teams of humans on five versus five. Um, this is what a lot of people play to get in the game quick, unless they're in one of the other leagues of Hero Leagues or Team League, which is 
which are both draft mode. Um, as players compete in these leagues, they uh, rank up and get different um, points, which will progress them up in the community and begin to place them in more challenging matchups. Heroes League locks, unlocks it at level 30, and you must own 10 heroes to participate. Um, with, uh, with Team League, you must have level 40 and own 10 characters. There's also custom games where you can set it up sort of any way you like, which is convenient for a lot of players. So, um, with that being said, let's, uh, let's follow this match here and see how things turn out and um, kind of get an idea of what the game's like. So this video here is uh, being played by Kerrigan. And um, the, uh, they're, they're working on the bottom lane here. Now they're gonna fight some minions, which is a great way to get experience. Um, it's very important to do the objectives in these games you get a you get a good advantage if your team can capture the objective whatever the map offers the, the smaller objectives and minor objectives capturing mercenary camps can assist you um, if you hit the mana pools it'll recover your mana and your health which is uh, a lot more convenient than going back to your sanctuary by um, using a hearthstone to get back there, which is um, a shortcut way of getting back to your your sanctuary to be safe. Now, here, Kerrigan's going in and just wrecking, destroying lots of characters, which is important because you get plenty of characters, uh, XP, which gets your level up good while everyone else is kind of gathering the minions for the objective for the moment. Here, she's gonna rack some in with her special ability, pull them in and capture a few for herself. You have to be careful to uh, focus on the objective and not let the other team distract you and pull you away where they might rope you off into a um, two on one or three on one situation that you could lose. Zeratol is killed right there. Pull back a little bit to recover. And um, let's focus on taking down this wall here and the towers and the gate. Okay. Getting the wall is important too because you get experience for every piece that you destroy of your opponent's structures. So, it may seem like a small thing, but it is important to try and get as many structures down as you can to get a higher level, which will give your team more strength in the match. You have to be careful not to let yourself get too low on life. It's very easy to uh, go over the line with uh, what is a safe amount of health to have. Sometimes it's easier just to use a hearthstone to go back to the base and um, replenish your mana and replenish your health as opposed to trying to use a mana pool if you're down too low. There's ways players can contact each other without even having to chat. You can chat in this game. Anytime you press enter, you can converse with one another um, through messages or they have a ping system which, uh, if you hold down Alt and select one of the four directions, it can send four different messages. And uh, those are very useful for communicating with players without having to take the time to type something. Um, the messages are danger, I'm on the way, let's defend this, and um, uh, I think it's a request for help. So, um, selecting your... your uh, Level up bonuses is very important, knowing which path to take. Um, depending on whether you want more heals, more damage towards heroes, more damage towards uh, 
minions or structures. There's all kinds of different um, ways to build your character. Upon reaching level 10, you get your um, alt, is what it's called. And it's your, your level 10 is pretty much where the maximum level of abilities is unlocked with your character for the level. So it's important to take the time to really learn your characters well. You have to um, you have to really know what you're doing if you're playing in a ranked match, and even quick games if you're playing with people that you know, they'll get frustrated if you don't know your character well. So if you're playing a healer, it's important to heal people. If you're playing a damaging character, you need to be damaging. So knowing your role is very critical and how to play that character. Um, you have to have a good team composition. If you have a whole team of healers, it's probably not gonna turn out well for you. Blizzard's in, in charge of the matchmaking. Typically, they do a great job of matching up people to have a, a balanced team of equal of support, specialists, warriors, and uh, assassins. So, whenever um, they uh, their their matchmaking, they use a, a hidden formula and they come up with how good you are against how good other players are, and they try and build a team of equal ability, so that way it'll be a competitive match for both sides. Whenever you're working on um, trying to defend, it's always important to stay behind the gates if you can, because they, uh, the towers provide so much defense that they actually can do as much attacking as a character can. So, whenever you're trying to defend, you do just as good behind the gate as you do on the other side, more often than not. It is dead. Now we um, them. Once they have their main objective down, the um, for this level, that was one of the um, the eternal. That was one of the the dragon shrines. So. It's, uh, it's nice to have the objective on your side. If you get it, it's good. If you don't, um, you can hold up, but you can't let them get it too many times in a row. It's, it's just not gonna end well. It's sad to say, but um, this is a game where you learn from your mistakes. Everyone dies, you just try to die as little as possible. Um, as you can see here, the kills were pretty even, it's 13 to 14, and the team levels are now 12 to 11 in their favor. So, um, let's see how this turns out. They only have one structure down on the top lane. They're only missing one keep. And we're only missing one keep. No, we're missing, yeah, we're only missing one on the bottom. So it's kind of easy still at this time. We're gonna have to wait and see how this plays out. Another easy death over extending too much. Trying to chase. Chasing's what they call it whenever you're putting yourself out there too much. For a kill. Now they're at 16 to 13 on the kills. We have a 2 to 5 kill uh, ratio right now. They've recently updated the kill ratio system where it now is based upon not only did if you hit that person and they died, but you had to be the person that took the killing shot to get the kill point. And that was just updated in the last patch recently, maybe two or three weeks ago. So, if we see we're behind up here in the levels, they're about a half a level up. Let's go ahead and keep start working on Merc. A little, um, getting, getting as much experience as we can. So, we take out some troops. I see that everyone's heading up to the uh, top shrine to see if we can capture it. 
so we can get the dragon for the uh, the boss of the level. Sometimes it's important to just go in and destroy all the heroes and let everyone else clean up. As an assassin, that's more of the role than any other other, other players. So you have to consider taking out as many characters as you can because you're the one that's doing the most damage. It's um, it's quite a challenge to play. See there, Kerrigan released uh, her special ability, which is a little creature that chased her character. It helped her a little bit, but not enough to get away. But it's enough to keep the other team busy while our team got the uh, the the Punisher for the level. So even though you may not be the one getting the minions to capture the Punisher, you can be the person that's distracting the other team, which is just as valuable. So when you're dead, the longer you stay in the game, the higher level you are, the longer you will stay dead. Um, at the beginning of the game, you might start off staying dead 10 seconds. Um, as you progress, you might stay dead as long as 60 or 80 seconds. So it's a higher risk of time out of the game whenever you lose. So teamwork's real important in this game. Um, you have to decide when it's a good time to try and capture each of the three lanes or when it's a good time for everyone to come together and push one lane really hard and see what you can get accomplished. Um, just taking a look at the team levels there again. We're only down by two in the deaths, but we're coming up on the levels. We're only down about a third of a level now, so that's pretty good. Um, we have to select our new talents as we uh, are continuing to time out. So, we, um, we got to take uh, the next layer of keeps to progress to their core if we want to see um, a win in this game. There, along the top bar, tell us we just came in, we have Nova still out at 15 seconds right now. And uh, we got to take charge here and get this top lane captured. We gotta capture see what we can do game. to um, remove the other team's heroes in this top lane. Um, this is where the other team's player, Sonya, here, has a higher DPS in the um, melee area and this is where their level 17 overpowered our level 16 because she is really strong up close whereas Kerrigan is also really strong but she doesn't have quite the damage level so that little extra le leverage that she has at being with 17 really put her over the top enough to kill me before I knew I'd be able to get away so I just damaged as much as possible Heroes. Sticking with a teammate is a great strategy. You usually do a lot better and go a lot further if you have someone with you. Especially whenever you're coming up on a team battle. It's even hard to get away if you walk up on the wrong situation without help. So This can often be a game where it's good to go in and get a few hits and run. Um, maybe you live to uh, run and uh, tell about it another day. Sometimes you can walk that fine edge of maintaining a low health if uh, all your teammates are working together to accomplish the objective and take out all the other opponents. Um, like I said, this is where teamwork really comes in whenever you're trying to do these objectives keep your opponents off of you enough to give you a break to regenerate some more health and uh, mana so you can have some special powers and abilities to continue to um, dominate. You know, you have to 
You have to do. Uh, you have to do the objectives um, to to get the help to keep pushing from whenever you're coming from behind. And we've gone from 17 to 19, while they have still remained at 18. So with us having the upper hand now, we're going to continue to push forward and uh, take take down another wall, take down another tower, take down another gate, take down another tower, and take down another wall here in this next little segment. Bust through this, go up, start um, working on the next keep, see if we can get this next keep taken so we can push to the core. So we can uh, see if we can get a win. So we're gonna take down the keeps because they shoot at your enemies just like the towers. And the more that you have uh, already taken down, the less that can be shooting at you while you're trying to take the cores. The core is what spawns minions. So there's a minion group set for each lane that gets spawned every uh, so often. See, there's the spawn. So it's a matter of uh, trying to work that down and bring your minions down the lane. You want a clear lane for all your minions to get to their core to kind of balance that out. Because the core will attack at you also. The core will uh, fire upon you. So we have Sergeant Hammer here shooting outside the range of the core's ability to shoot to take us the core down for the victory. So I think this has been a great uh, video for everyone to see a little bit about Heroes of the Storm and just how the game works. At the end of the level, you get more experience for your uh, account level and more uh, experience for your character level. And then you can go back and select another character when that's done. Well, thanks everybody for sitting through this. And um, if you like it, it is free to play. And um, it can be downloaded from blizzard.com. So if you want to give it a try, check it out. And um, good luck. You um, must have a pretty good computer to play this, though, I have to be honest with you. And a good internet connection. So if that's not a problem for you, good luck and uh, happy hunting. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And thank you so much for your time.